Hello my friends, we're back in Luminar Neo and uh, today we are making sepia tone images. I will start with this image of my oldest daughter and I will show you what I see most people do. Most people do this to create sepia tone. They will convert their image to black and white and then they will go to mood and choose a sepia tone lot. And there's nothing wrong with this. But you can get so much more of your image by doing it a different way. So this one you can choose the CPI or you can go with something like a blue tone and you know make a different kind of effect. I'm gonna choose a different image. Let's see I'll choose this one and uh, this is a stock image. I'll go to edit and this is the way I would like to do it. First I would go to the color. Where is my color? I can never find it. Color. And I decrease the saturation where well, you can still see a little bit of the color but not much just like maybe like that and now that we decrease the saturation now we'll go to mood now toning not mood I'm sorry and then we'll add on the shadows we'll increase the saturation to 100 and we'll add like a reddish orange tone like that decrease the saturation to what it looks good and then we'll go to highlights, increase saturation, we'll add like a yellow, almost greenish yellow, something like that. And then decrease the saturation. And now this is our before and after, a more beautiful sepia tone. Let's choose a different example and do it a little bit differently this time. I have an image, this one over here, it's a stock image. And it has a lot of cool tones, like this really blue sky, and then we have the grass. And let's see how we can do this. First, I like to go in the color and get rid of some of these cool tones. I'll go to the hue and change the greens into more yellow and the yellow into more oranges. Then I would go to the saturation and I will decrease the blue by a lot. And let's see, now we can go into overall saturation and decrease that one too, until we can still see a little bit of color, but not too much, like that. Now, just like before, we go into toning and we are adding in the highlights some yellowish tone, maybe like that. Decrease the saturation. And then in the shadows, a reddish tone. Maybe like that. And now it's still not very sepia tone, so we'll go to mood and we'll apply a lot. And there you go. This is our before and after. Before and after. Let's do maybe one more example. This is a still image I took just a few months ago. And let's see, we'll go to color and first I'm going to shift a little bit of these colors. I'm going to turn the greens more yellow a little bit. The yellow a little bit more orange, not too much. And then I'll go into saturation and desaturate the cyans, the greens, the blues. All right. Now that I did that, I'll decrease the all overall saturation. And now let's go into our toning and add in the shadows a reddish tone. And then in the highlights, a yellow tone. And then go to mood and apply a lot. Now I still think there's too much saturation in there. So I'll go back to color, desaturate some more, maybe more like that. And I can go maybe apply a lot again, mood. All right, that is better. And then I can go to develop. I can maybe brighten the highlights a little bit. 
pick the blacks down to get more contrast. Open the shadows maybe, or no? Um, I'm not gonna open the shadows. I'm gonna close the, this develop and then open it again. And I am going to do a little vignette. So I am going to take down the exposure, but then I will only paint it with 100% around the edges. And that just creates a vignette. And let's see, that's too dark. So I'm gonna brighten just a little bit. And then I'll close it and open it again. And this time I'm gonna raise the exposure. And maybe that's too much like that. And I will only paint it onto the center. Just to brighten my subject, make it stand out a little bit more. And there you go. I think the vignette is too strong. So I'm gonna reduce the exposure here just to make it blend a little bit better. We can also go into the edits and we go on the previous develop where we darken the area and we can lift it up a little bit. There you go. And this is how you create sepia tone images. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I will see you in my next video.